In Japan, this is the busiest sea airport, Japan's Kansai International Airport. But now that the water level has risen, it may sink to the bottom of the ocean. It costs the government tens of billions of dollars to fix and improve. Nature is still better than technology, though. It's 13 meters below the surface. Think about what would happen if the airport was fully submerged in water. What kind of harm will nuclear contaminated water cause to sea life? Why did the airport sink? Let's move on with these questions in mind. The construction of the airport in Kansai began in 1987. Japan's robust infrastructure is impressive as it constructed the airport in just 10 years during the early 1980s, a period when most of Asia's infrastructure was just beginning to take shape. It is the world's first artificial island airport, fully reclaimed from the water. It used to be one of the wonders of modern engineering, according to American experts. It is now Japan's most beautiful airport, standing tall out of the water. But soon after it opened, the airport encountered a previously unheard of issue. It was sinking at a rate of seven centimeters per year due to global sea level rise. When the engineers found the problem, they did a study. Within 10 years, the island is likely to sink another 5.5 meters. However, a sad truth came to light in 2000. The island sank by 8.2 meters. These facts were difficult for the experts to believe. The airport sank 40% faster than expected. Some experts think that the airport will sink another five meters by 2050 and disappear forever. After a period of concern, another issue emerged. The two islands at the airport were sinking at different rates, making the runway surface uneven. However, engineers were able to fix the unevenness problem by adding asphalt. Japan remains committed to this airport, believing its construction will yield significant future benefits. From the airport, you can get to 92 places around the world. As of 2019, the airport had handled 32 million people, which is about twice as many people as live in New York, as well as 800,000 tons of mail and goods. Each year, the airport brings in about 1.6 billion US dollars for Japan's economy. Engineers have put in a lot of work to keep the ocean from gradually swallowing up the airport. Recently, it has become more expensive to maintain and fix up the airport, which has caused the total cost to rise from $8 billion to $24 billion, making it one of the most expensive airports ever. Why did Japan build this sea airport in the early 1990s when it was such a big risk? At the time, Japan's economy and tourist population were growing. Back then, Osaka had the busiest economy of any city, and its population once topped that of Tokyo, making it very crowded. Slowing down the flow will result in an even greater loss of population. Because of this, they chose to build another airport to make Osaka International Airport less busy. Initially, the goal was to construct a new airport in Osaka, but the cost of acquiring land for the airport would be significant. The real issue is that many people don't want to give up the land, and some believe that the new airport will make too much noise. So in the end, they chose to build the new airport out to sea, away from Osaka's center. Japanese experts had no trouble reclaiming land. In 1994, they were able to finish the land reclaiming project in just seven years. The project costs $8 billion altogether. In the past, the seabed beneath the man-made island was in poor condition, akin to a damp sponge. To make sure it would stand firm on the water, workers cut three mountains in half and brought in 180 million cubic meters of rock and sand for the base. They placed 2.3 million vertical pipes as supports for building the riverbank and seawall. There were two stages to the airport's construction. Terminal 1 and Terminal 2 are available. Renzo Piano, an Italian builder, made Terminal 1. Building a four-story, 
More than 290,000 square meter building is the first part of the project. There is an airport runway that is 3,500 meters long and 60 meters wide. It is 1.1 miles from one end to the other. Worldwide, Terminal 1 is the largest airport terminal building. Terminal 2 was the second part of the project. The project aimed to minimize operating costs for low-cost airlines. The airport is not in the middle of the city, so it can be open 24 hours a day. And you know what? In order to reach the airport in Osaka, engineers also constructed a 1.8 miles bridge over the sea, which cost 1 billion US dollars. Plus, getting to Osaka from the airport only takes an hour. Engineers raised the base after the first part of the project failed, enabling the construction of the second part. But it's impossible to avoid sinking. But why did the airport sink? Additionally, the airport's building is very solid. Since its completion, Japan has experienced numerous earthquakes and typhoons, yet the airport remains unharmed. The primary causes of the sinking include its construction on a man-made island, as well as geological and environmental factors. The seabed in Osaka Bay is not in the best natural shape. The seabed silt is very thick and is part of the soft soil layer. Engineers did put in jacks to raise the height every two years, though. Due to the long-term weight of the load pressure, the geological conditions become unstable, leading to subsidence. Second, some individuals assert that the construction of man-made islands necessitates sewage work. Improper handling or drainage of groundwater can also lead to soil sinking. The more important reason is that the sea level is rising because of climate change. The sea level around the world has been rising at a rate of 4.62 meters per year on average. The sea level has gone up more than 10 centimeters since 1990. Japan is also vulnerable to earthquakes and tsunamis, and the country moves toward the Pacific Plate at a rate of 10 centimeters per year. All of these things will also cause this man-made island to sink faster. As of now, Kansai Airport has sunk 13 meters. In fact, Japan has been trying hard to make things right. They continue to fortify the fence surrounding the airport, yet they can only maintain and modify it due to the varying sinking rates of the two islands. Besides that, I can't think of a better way to solve the problem right now. So, if the man-made island sinks, what will happen to the ocean? An underwater airport would be terrible for the ocean. It would hurt the marine environment very badly. Things that are submerged can turn into trash, which can damage biological environments. Building on Dubai's Palm Island, for example, has ruined the only coral reef in the area and places where sea turtles used to nest. China's man-made islands in the South China Sea have also hurt coral reefs. Any other ideas on how to slow down the rate at which Japanese airports sink? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Do not forget to share and like. Thanks for watching.